close your eyes and watch your breath. And as John Sawat used to say, try to bring an attitude of conviction to what you're doing. That training your mind is important. That's a high-level job. It's one of the most important things you can do in life. So when you're going to do it, do it well. Don't just go through the motions. When you're looking at the breath, really look at the breath. Be intent on noticing how the mind can stay with the breath and noticing when it begins to wander off. And noticing how you can catch it and bring it right back to the breath. Anything else that comes up, you have to say, no, this is more important. The breath is more important. Be thoughts of work, thoughts of home. Have some conviction that the training of the mind is the important thing in life. We can get all kinds of pleasures in life, but if the mind isn't trained, it can take those pleasures and misuse them. It actually causes itself a lot of pain, a lot of harm. And on the contrary, there are a lot of times when things in the world are not going well. But if the mind is well trained, it doesn't have to make itself miserable over those things. In other words, you don't harm yourself with pleasure and you don't harm yourself with pain. There was one time when Lumbu pointed to the mountain over there on the eastern horizon. He says, is that mountain heavy? Of course, when John asks a question like this, you know it's a trick question. So you wait to see the answer. And the answer was, well, if you try to pick it up, yes, it's heavy on you, but if you don't pick it up, it's not heavy on you. It may be heavy in and of itself. But the important thing is you don't try picking it up. What this means, of course, is all the suffering in the world that we really weighs down the mind actually comes from picking up things that we don't have to pick up. There are a lot of things we are responsible for in the world, and we pick them up when they're necessary, but there are so many things that we pick up and carry around that are not necessary at all. Like the old story of the grandmother who had a big load of straw on her back, and everywhere she went she carried the load of straw. People ask her, why don't you put it down? She said, well, someday I may need straw, so I've got to keep it on my back. There's so many things in life that you can put down. You don't have to carry them around all the time. You don't have to make yourself miserable about them. So when you see that you're suffering, the first thing you want to do is not look at the world outside, but look at yourself. What is the mind doing right now? And if the mind is well trained, you can see, oh, I've picked up this thing and I can put it down. If it's not well trained, it's going to keep looking outside, saying the reason I'm miserable because of that person, I'm miserable because of this situation, I'm miserable because of the economy, I'm miserable because of the weather. Anything but looking inside. This is not to say that things outside can't be bad. Often they are very bad. Sometimes the world is just like a mass of tornadoes. But you don't have to get whirled up in the tornadoes. You can, you can find your safe place. And as for the responsibilities you have, learn how to put them down when you can so you're not weighing yourself down all the time. Otherwise you're like those coolies that used to work in the docks in Bangkok. They had to work all day bent over, bent over, bent over. And then even when the loads were not on their back, they would walk over bent over. Because that's how they get used to walking. So learn how to stand up straight. Put your loads down when you can. This is one of the reasons why we meditate. At the very least, while you're meditating, have a time for the mind to stand up straight. So you can actually look around and see what's right, what's wrong, what's worth doing, what's not worth doing. That way, when you do pick up your responsibilities, you're not placing unnecessary burdens on yourself. You know you can pick them up, you deal with them, and then you put them down. That's the sign of a well-trained mind. You think when you need to think, and you don't think when you don't have to think. So learn how to train your mind this way, and you'll find that the happiness you give, gain in the world is not going to harm you. You're not going to use the happiness to harm you. And even the pains in the world are not going to harm you as well. You can come out unscathed. <laughs>